we begin each meditation with goodwill, to remind ourselves of why we're meditating and to set our intention straight, reminding ourselves that the wisest thing to do with your mind is to train it, because you want a happiness that's lasting and you want a happiness that's not going to harm anybody. For the mind to have a sense of how important that is, you really do have to train it. You have to remind it of the dangers that come from all the different pleasures that we tend to pursue through life. And now that regardless of what kind of pleasure you're pursuing, you've got to put up with the fact that you're going to end up with some pain, too. And if the mind isn't trained, it's going to take that pain and do more unskillful things, and those unskillful things are going to lead to more unskillful, undesirable results. So you've got a mind that's very busy here. It keeps on churning out ideas, churning out intentions. So you want to make sure that it's churning out good ones. And so you want to set your compass straight to make sure that you're not going to hope for anybody's suffering. Especially when we're living together in a large group like this. And this, for us, is large. There's a Thai saying, they say you know, the, the tongue and the teeth lie very near to each other. So it's very common that the tongue gets bitten. So you have to be careful about that. Spread goodwill not only to people on the far ends of the earth, but also people right around you. They talk about all beings in all directions, and it tends to get very large and vague and indefinite. Well, think of the people around you first, and then work out in ever-widening circles as they get more and more faceless. Many times the more faceless they are, the easier it is to feel goodwill. But the people right up around you, those are the ones that you've really got to feel goodwill for because you've got to be careful of your actions as you go through the day. And you want to make sure that there's nothing slips out in your thoughts or your words or your deeds. And if it does slip out in your thoughts, make sure it doesn't come out in your words or your deeds. That would be in any way for the purpose of making other people around you suffer even just a little bit. I mean. On the one hand, there's the question of people's feelings getting hurt, and that's normal. But you don't want to harm anybody. That's something else. So make sure you don't do anything for anybody as harm, or don't wish for their harm, that you have goodwill for them, that you remind yourself that we're all looking for happiness. Here in the monastery, we're all trying to train our minds. It's like being in a hospital. Different people have different diseases. They're all trying to get well, but just because your heart rate, heart rate is at one level and the person next to you has heart rate at another level doesn't mean you're better than there. You may have a different disease. So keep this in mind. Make sure that your goodwill is not only vague and all-extensive, but it's very personal and up-close. <laughs>